Deliberations in the sexual assault case of Stephen McCandless are in their second day today. McCandless faces five felonies and actions that uh, accuse him that he took two years against two girls, that is. News 13 Cheryl Barber joins us with the latest on this trial. Cheryl, the jurors wanted to know a little more information from the court this morning, didn't they? They did, and they asked the judge for a transcription of a witness's testimony. The judge said it would take a long time to produce, and now the jurors are back in the jury room trying to decide if they want to come back Monday for more deliberations. Now, Stephen McCandless is charged with sexually assaulting a seven-year-old girl at the Salvation Army thrift store on Patton Avenue two years ago. He's also charged with indecent exposure involving a four-year-old girl at a Goodwill store in Black Mountain. Detectives arrested him in July of 2011 at his home in Black Mountain. He's been out on bond and today is sitting with his family in the courtroom. The victim's families are also in the courtroom today. The judge has not allowed our cameras in the courtroom. So far, no verdict from the jury, and it's uncertain at this time whether jurors will ask for that transcript and move their deliberations once again to Monday. We'll keep you in touch with any developments this afternoon. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.